Okay, what's the, another one? Actually, there are four that we learn together. What are the four that we learn about together? They're the ones that um, break down proteins or inhibit the growth. Protein synthesis, synthesis, that's the key. Yeah. So do you guys remember what they're called? Streptomycin. Oh, I wish I had a bigger board. Yeah, streptomycin's one. Tetramycin. Tetracycline. Oh, tetracycline. Um, erythromycin. Erythromycin. And then I don't know how to say the CH. Chloramphenicol. Chloramphenicol. Yeah. Okay. Have I? Who have I shown this picture to before? Okay, so three of you. So you should be able to answer all the questions. <laughs> You're like, dang it! I wish I did. Raise my hand. <laughs> I'm gonna call it on you then. So I really like this picture. Hopefully, other people like it too. Because this picture, if you memorize it you know half the antibiotics, just from this one picture. Now, saying that these four target protein synthesis is not good enough, okay? You have to be more specific. Again, it's right, but it's not right enough, like penicillin, okay? So, protein synthesis, what is the definition of that? Building proteins. Making proteins, okay? Where does that happen? In the ribosome. In the ribosome. So, what is this that I'm drawing? Oh my gosh, it's a terrible marker. What is that? The ribosome. Ribosome, okay. What is this top portion called, the big subunit? It's 50S. 50S. What's the small subunit? 30S. 30S. Do you guys know what the whole thing is? 70S. 70S. Okay, now what is this? Is that the mRNA? It's the mRNA. What's the point of mRNA? Code for proteins. Yeah, it's kind of like the recipe book. It has a code in it. And what the ribosome is going to do, so mRNA is floating through the cytoplasm, right? The 50S and 30S subunits come and they attach to the mRNA. When they attach, then the whole ribosome starts to move along the mRNA. And as it moves, it's reading this sequence. So there are different letters here, different sequences. And there are molecules found within the ribosome called... Um, Are you talking about those that you just yeah. drew, the tRNA? tRNAs. Does anyone know what that stands for? It's not going to be on the test, but I'm just curious if you guys know. Transcription? No. Transfer no. RNAs. Because they're going to transfer what? They bind to the mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. They bind to it. The tRNA is going to attach to the mRNA, and it's going to read it and do what? It just like transfers like the code, right? It turns, what is protein synthesis? Or this is translation, right? What was the definition of translation? We go DNA to RNA, which is transcription, and RNA to amino acids, amino acids which make chains. proteins, polypeptide chains. So the tRNA will attach to the mRNA, and it will be like, oh, this code right here means this amino acid. Okay, and it attaches it. And then it moves. It attaches, reads, oh, that part means this amino acid. And then it'll move, attach, oh, now it wants this amino acid. And it'll keep doing that until I have a long chain. What is that chain called? Polypeptide chain. Polypeptide chain, which is the same thing as a protein, except for a protein. A polypeptide chain is a protein before it's folded. So in its linear form, it's called a polypeptide chain. Okay, so let me go through this one more time. It will be a lot easier to understand what the other ones do, the antibiotics do, if we get this down. So you have mRNA floating through the cytoplasm, right? 50S, 30S, attach. When it attaches, tRNA comes in, reads, and says, ooh, this amino acid. Grabs it, puts it on. Then the ribosome moves. Attach, reads, grabs amino acid, puts it on. And then you just keep getting this chain going. And then that makes the polypeptide chain. 
Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So this whole process is protein synthesis. Now remember we had four amino acids that target protein, four antibiotics that target protein synthesis. I like to say if you just say it's targeting protein synthesis, that's like saying I like food. <laughs> okay, what kind of food do you like? It's too general, okay? So we need to know exactly, because this, this process is complicated, right? And it gets a whole lot more complicated than this. So you need to know exactly what they're doing. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. So now let's get into that. Now we're going to go through these four, and we're going to say what they do specifically. Who remembers what chloramphenicol does? Um, makes it so the polypeptide chains can't attach. Yeah, wow, good. I haven't shown you this picture before. I studied it with Brandy. Oh, day. okay. So, like, I know the picture, but I haven't heard it from you yet. I was like, wow, <laughs> that's really good. Okay, so chloramphenicol, the fancy way of saying it, it inhibits polypeptide chain formation. Chloramphenicol inhibits polypeptide chain formation. 